George William Beecham, the 9th of March 1888 to the 5th of April 1965, was a British sailor and Titanic survivor. On the Titanic, he worked as a stoker and was rescued in boat number 13, ordered on board by an officer to handle an oar, which was launched from the vessel at 1.40 am, shortly before the sinking. He was born in Tot Tun, England, UK, in March 1888, the son of George Beecham and Maria Jane Walton. He had five siblings. On the Titanic he was paid six pounds a month. He later recalled that the water was up to his feet. Beecham ran towards the topside and positioned on the starboard deck. Beecham's boat was later rescued by the Carpathia around 6.30 am. He said at the British inquiry that immediately after the collision, the watertight doors and dampers began to block and that there was an order to stop it all. He also testified that as a stoker, he was given the order to draw fires in the boilers, the fires that normally kept the ship's steam machinery running. After drawing the fires, he was relieved and escaped using a ladder. He later recalled helping ladies and children into the boats before being given the order to board lifeboat number 13. He said there were around 60 to 70 people on board, among them many men. As a last thing he said there was no lantern on the boat. Beecham gave evidence at the British Wreck Commissioner's inquiry into the sinking of the RMS Titanic before Council Raymond Asquith, where he responded to several questions with blunt and short responses. I went onto the boat deck and across to the starboard side. I had one foot on the deck and one on the lifeboat and I was helping ladies and children into the lifeboat. We had difficulty keeping the lifeboat away from the ship's side and preventing water coming in. We pulled on the oars to get away as far as possible from the suction of the ship as it went down. I saw the ship go down bow first and I could still see the stern and then that went too. It was a roar like thunder as it went down and I heard cries as the ship sank. We would have gone back for others but we were full up. George Beecham continued to work at sea into the 1920s and beyond. He later served on the Cape Mail boats for the Union Line as a leading fireman. Later in life, Beecham became a docker in Southampton. He became friends with Bertram Veer Dean, who was the brother of the last Titanic survivor, Milvina Dean. Beecham died in April of 1965 at the age of 77. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.